Hello guys, today we're going to be talking about number 47 in the pal deck, Gale Claws. Now Gale Claws are the real deal. Their habitat is here during the day and here during the night. You can find them in dungeons and breed them as well. Gale Claws are one of the best pals in the game. Mid game, early game, late game, etc. The best replacement for your glider, hands down, is the Gale Claw. Now, why is that? Well, if you look at the partner skill, Gale Claw Rider... Well, in team, it can be, will be summoned to use uh, as a glider, and it allows you to fire your guns and do other things while you're gliding, which is super useful for any kind of movement within a boss fight, um, especially when you level up the Gale Claw and get the mastery up a lot. The Rook's ability is kind of irrelevant. Gathering level 2, like, you know, no one's going to use it for gathering if we're being real. Uh, the food's not that bad. And they drop the Gale Claw Pool Tree and Leather. But my, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I use a Gale Claw all the time. My Gale Claw is quite um, powered up, level 52, fully, um, fully starred up, so fully condensed. No souls into him because he doesn't actually get summoned ever. He's only ever my glider. But it's great for movement, and I can do um, if I oh let me go like this. I can shoot while I'm on him, which is great for any kind of boss fight that actually requires you to be moving a lot. Like when I was fighting uh, Suzuku for the first time, I did really enjoy having my Gale Claw. Um, even not fully leveled up, the Gale Claw is still very powerful and still very useful in any kind of boss fight. Uh, and also just general movement around the map. Uh, the I don't even remember what the normal glider is like anymore because I've been using my uh, Gale Claw for so long. But I remember that the normal glider like sucks. So <laughs> Gale Claw definitely uh, definitely wins in like every department in terms of being a glider. Um, yeah, that's really the main use of a Gale Claw. To actually get to use it as a glider, I'm quite sure that you have to have the mount. Yes, here we go. The Gale Claw gloves, which you can craft here, and they, you can find them in the technology tree. Right here on 23. And once you're... So it's more of a mid-game item, I guess, because 23 is more or less mid-game. Um, but it's it's extremely useful. And, like, it, it really... Like, hang you does have the hang time, to be honest. It does hang for a lot longer. But if you're not going fast, like, that kind of sucks, low-key. Um, and there was the other... Hanging pal. I forget their name. But anyways... All you need to know is that I, in my opinion, Gale Claw is definitely the best hang glider um, in the game and among all the pals as well. It, the movement is just like unmatched, basically. If I were to go at the top of this... Here, hold on. Let me get up here. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. Where's... Okay. What? What is going on? Get over here. Thank you. What the hell was that? Okay. Um... It's also great if you're like unmounting your flying mounts and you want to like not take any fall damage or, you know, like. Why does he keep? All right, all right, all right. All right. Anyways, we're gonna go up here. Okay, can I please? Thank you. All right. I guess with a normal glider you cannot take any fall damage still. Um, but I just think the Gale Claws is better in every way. Wow, this is giving me like a real screenshot over here. All right, if I wanted to get. I, rec I think I could get to mm, probably uh, definitely there, maybe there with the Gale Claw. If we just go along. Oh, we probably won't make that. Well, no, we, don't, we will not make that. We definitely make this though, which is great. But the distance is is quite far. Oh, I guess we actually don't make it. The drop-off is quite noticeable when you're going on long distances like that. Which is obviously why it's not recommended as like a full flying mount. But the speed really is unmatched. And if you have enough jump height, you can basically use it anywhere. Its initial glide time is really, really like strong as you stay in the air for so long. But it drops off significantly um, after a while. And you'll notice it pretty quickly. But that's the best thing. You can just keep doing this. Going around like this. 
even on a flat surface, you know? I really, I don't know. I'm low-key a glazer. I'm a glazer. I love Gale Claw. Been using it since I figured out that it was the best glider, and I haven't gone back. So I'm glazing Gale Claw. Yep. Look at him. It looks cool, too. I mean, I love the, uh, the eagle, like, the eagle pattern and everything. Big fan. Oh. Hello. So sick. So sick. I'm making this video way longer than it needs to be. I apologize. But that's all you need to know about Gale Claw. It's the greatest glider ever. And if you just get two Gale Claws, catch two of them, breed those two over and over again, and you'll be able to have your condensed, fully upgraded Gale Claw in no time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.